Hey guys, welcome to Scrap Mechanic. This is an indie game and it is amazing. It looks so much fun. I saw this on Steam and uh, and I just couldn't wait to jump into it. Basically, have you ever like wanted to play Gary's Mod but it's way too technical? Well, Scrap Mechanic is kind of like a super colorful. I mean, look at this world. It's like super colorful and amazing. This game is on Steam. It's early access. So let's jump in and make our first car because I've had a quick look at it and I reckon I can work this out. So what we do is put down a lift like that and now we put down we're gonna use wood for our for our base car part and we're gonna put a block over like this looks good to me and we'll put uh, how many is that one two three four five six seven and now we'll do the same over this side as well BAM so that's an even sized uh, actually let's make it a bit thicker pretty much symmetrical yeah it looks it it looks symmetrical enough so to raise the lift you use the up and down key and this is important because we need to kind of, like a real mechanic, you need a lift to raise it up so you can see what you're doing. Right, so the wooden platform has been raised up. Yep, and that looks symmetrical. So now we put some, some turny things here. Now these are just like connectors that you put onto something and it lets anything connected to that then turn. And there we are, we have four sticks and it kind of looks like a table at the moment. Not really a car, but don't worry, we'll get there. It's gonna look like a car eventually. Now it's time to put some more of these spinny axes on. Now what are these actually called? The book says what they're called. This is called a bearing, right? So these orange circles are bearings and they're basically just axes that, that things spin on. So we'll put the wheels onto these things, simple as you like. Now it's time to lower the lift. Not too much though. And we're gonna have to jump up here. And now we're gonna put down the driver's seat. Now we're gonna plunk it smack bam in the middle. Now it doesn't matter where you put the engine, it can be at the front or the back. So if we put this smack in the middle, we've got freedom now to choose where we put the engine. So I reckon we can put it, oh yeah, let's put it in the front like a real car. So bam, there's the engine. This is looking pretty good so far. Now it's just time to connect up the engine, the seat and the wheels. This is pretty simple to do. So you get your control rod, and now this is important. This is the control tool. This is this is how you connect everything up. Now we need to make sure these wheels are spinning in the right direction. Before we set the rotation of axes though, we have to connect them to the engine. So we just drag with a left click from the bearing to the engine. Now these bearings drive the wheels and it's important that these go to the engine, not the driver's seat. Why is that? Well, the engine produces force and we just want that force fed into the wheels. So just going forwards pushes the wheels forwards and going backwards pushes the wheels backwards. Now we just make sure all of these axes are facing the right way. They all have to drive forwards. So you can see they're doing that now. They're all spinning the right way. And now we need to hook up the driver's seat to both the engine so that we can use the driver's seat to go forwards and backwards. But now we need to hook it up to also these axes here to make sure the vehicle turns in the right way. Now I've actually messed up here because I've put a couple more axes than you need. We don't need these axes at the back, so we, I think we can delete them. Uh, I hope that the wooden block won't fall off when we do. So let's find out. No, in fact, let's leave them there because I'm curious to see what happens when they're attached with um, with these bearings, but we don't actually connect them to the driver's seat. Well, okay, that looks like it's everything connected. If we get to the control, that looks okay. These things aren't connected at the back, so they might spin in just like the way any way they want to. So I'm gonna I'm curious to see what happens when we do that. So we'll bring the lift down all the way, and there we go. The lift's gone. The car is ready to rock. So we're getting the driver's seat now. Oh yeah, I look like uh, kind of like an elf. Look like it's Christmas. So let's see what happens. Oh no, as you can see, because we put axes on the back, the back wheels are spinning out of control. Also, we haven't set the uh, the front wheels to the right direction. So when I try and turn right, I turn left. And when I try and turn left, I turn right. So these are the simple mistakes we've made. Let's fix them. This should now work. Let's give it a drive. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's a bit slow. But we have a car. That's amazing. Now, what we could even do is add more engines, I think, to give us even more power. And it looks like by default, you see those. Oh, oh, look, oh, sweet. We can go up and down ramps even. Now, by default, I think that the front axes only turn about 45 degrees left and 45 degrees right, which is fair enough. But oh, yeah. Okay, right. So let's drive back to the platform 
Oh, because there's not much power to this beast yet. So let's try and put a whole bunch of engines on here to see if we can soup up the power. Maybe give it like a bit more beef, a bit more oomph. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Oh yeah, looking like a badass. Yeah, I, I, I only just make it up this ramp. In fact, I don't, I don't even make it up the ramp. So we're going to have to just get out here. And what we can do is we can just select the lift, left click, and then come up here and just move it up here with the lift. It's a bit cheaty, but there we go. Okay, this thing looks like a beast. Let's give it a go. Oh yeah, already I can feel, it feels like it's got more power, but I'm not entirely sure. Eight wheels, but this thing barely moves. Is it just too much weight? Do you think we've got too much weight on? Well, let's try removing some of the weights. Either way though, this is a pretty slow car. Maybe there's a way for us to jack up the engine speed. Right, so if we hold E... Ah, uh, I see, we can... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, look at this thing! Stop, stop! Okay, wow, it's really going for it. So this thing does actually work. Oh, right, of course. So the, uh, the driver's seat is not connected to these engines. Oh god. No, no, stop! Oh god, we got a runaway car! We got a runaway car! Quick, quick, quick! Ah! Stop! Stop! No! No! Let's put it on the lift, quick. Right, so I think the problem actually was the engines were not hooked up to the driver's seat. Right, so now we have three engines hooked up to this beast. Now if we tap E, we can jack up the power. Now I have a feeling this thing is gonna go crazy quick. Oh man, this is gonna be a beast. All right, let's give it a whirl. All right, gentlemen, start your engines. Whoa, oh my God, too much power. Look at that, oh my God, we're doing wheelies. Ah, oh, so this works, but I need to tap. I need to slowly tap. Oh, this thing's a beast. Whoa, whoa, Nelly. Whoa, it's a wheelie machine. Oh, this thing is so cool. Oh my God. All right, let's see what kind of speeds we can get out of this. Now, it needs some balancing. So what we're going to do is we are going to add some some weight to the front. Ah, oh, yeah, this is already looking pretty good. Now we'll put the whole thing on a lift and add some wheels at the back. Now, we don't want these wheels connected to anything. These are literally just stabilizer wheels. All right, now let's give this beast a go. We'll get rid of the lift, climb on board, and now let's see what she can do. Oh, look at this beast. It's definitely got too much power. <laughs> oh, but look at the speeds we can get up to. Oh, no! <laughs> We're stuck. We're upside down. But this has definitely got a lot of speed to it. Oh, man, this is amazing. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to mess around for a bit now and see if I can create something super cool. But is there a way to delete everything? Whoa! No! Oh no! Wait! Come back! Where are you going? Stop! Ah! Now, the bottom hotbar is not all the items that are available in the game. If you take a look, this is the backpack of all the things we can use. Oh man, this is pretty crazy. So there's lots of decorative things like these tubes and pipes, and these are really cool to make your car look like all badass and cool. And there's also some components here like off-road suspension, adds bounce and stability. Sport suspension, a bearing, driver's seat that we know about, just a normal seat. All oh, right, so this is multiplayer, so you could actually bring a friend along in your car. There's an electric engine, which is better than a gas engine. A slow engine with a lot of strength can be connected to a driver's seat or triggers. A thruster, oh man, enough of these can make things fly. It needs to be connected to a trigger or the driver's seat in order to activate, okay, cool. A controller, oh now this is a really complex piece of machinery that lets you fire off different bearings at different times. A button, activates stuff, the button activates as long as it remains pressed. A sensor, it detects, it activates. The sensor activates when detecting any kind of surface that comes into its view. Oh wow, so you can have like a, a, like a, you can put this on the back of your car and you can have it beep when you're too close to a wall for parking. That's a pretty cool idea. A radio, oh man, so we can put some music down. And a light. Ah, oh, sweet. So we can just light up the night. There's ramps. Oh, man. Oh, what's this? Big wheels. Oh, no way. So we can make like a monster truck. All right. Well, first up, let's build ourselves a table and, uh, and get some music on the go. So I'm going to replace the concrete with a radio. 
Oh, and I think I'm going to need a switch as well to turn it on. And we'll swap that out for the hammer, because the hammer doesn't really seem to have a use for us at the moment. All right, so let's put the radio on the table, like this. Oh, <laughs> yeah! Some smooth jazz. Actually, I'm going to turn that off because it is actually terrible. All right, that was a bad idea. Right, let's try and make ourselves a rocket. Sound good? Yeah, it does. So the first thing we need is scaffold for our rocket. So let's just come over here. Right, perfect. Now this is attached to the lift, so we can just attach our creation to this wooden scaffold. Now we need a material for the rocket, and we're gonna use a mixture of this barrier block. We can get rid of that switch. And we're also going to use, I think, is that metal? Yeah, metal. Metal rocket sounds great to me. Now, obviously, what goes on the bottom of a rocket? Let's raise it up a bit. Thrusters. So let's put as many of these on as we can fit. For, oh, this looks pretty good. Now we'll put some, some decorative yellow and black around to make it look all, you know, super dangerous. You know, stay back. Rocket. All right, cool. Now we can bring that down. And now it's time to think about the body of the rocket. So what we're going to do is we are going to add, I think, uh, what are these cylinders? Small tank, lightweight. Let's see if we can add these, see what these are going to do. We don't need any wheels, so we can swap that out. How big is this thing? Oh, this is perfect, actually. We can just stack these on top of each other. And now we need, like, a cone for the top. So what are we going to put on top as kind of like a, like a pointed edge? See anything that looks ideal? Maybe, you know what? Like a staircase banister. Let's try that. Perfect! All right, we have our rocket. It looks primitive as hell, but you know what? I don't care. So we need a button to launch our rocket. We'll put it there. We'll use the connector to connect it to the engines, like this. Here we go. This is going to be amazing. I can't wait to see how colossally this fails. Now, if I think if we use E on the engine, on the booster, the rocket booster, can we actually configure it to, um... We can't actually configure it to have more power, so I guess it's got all the power it's going to have. Now let's remove the supports, and hope it stays straight. Yep, staying straight by the looks. Okay, alright! Are you guys ready for blast off? It's not as impressive as that thing that looks like a rocket, but I don't know, it's kind of cool. Okay, okay, three, two, one, ignition! Wait, what do you mean it's not connected to anything? It's connected to loads of things. Oh, oh, it wasn't. Oh, maybe it has to be connected to the actual machine. Let's try putting the switch on the rocket. So now we put an extra yellow marker, and now we know which is the right switch. All right, so it's time to get rid of the lift. And let's see if we can get a space. Oh, there it goes! Oh, it's amazing! It's, it's not coming back. No! Shit! What am I gonna do now? Okay, let's turn it off. Wait, wait, no, we can't turn it off. Oh, no, it was a switch, and now it's on! Okay, we can go and find our rocket. Let's go and find our rocket. Oh, man, no, okay. We're not finding a rocket. We're not finding a rocket. I tell you what, guys, let's see how high we can get into space. Bam! Oh, this is gonna be amazing. I can't wait. All right, so this should be somewhat symmetrical. I feel like there's a little bit of weight, though, skewed on this side. What I'll do is I'll cut down as much of that material as I can. Right, oh, it's, it's almost ready. Let's just climb up now. We need to get rid of the lift. Now let's climb up and see if we can launch ourselves into space. Fingers crossed this is gonna work, guys. Oh, man. Okay, <laughs> are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh, man, what? No! No! It's terrible! It's way too heavy! I know what we can do. We can get rid of a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, now let's try this. Fingers crossed- Oh wait, I've got to remove the lift. Fingers crossed this has got enough power to get us into space. I sincerely hope so. So let's do it! Whoa! <laughs> no! 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 It's spinning out of control! Whoa! <laughs> okay, so I think it's um... It's not quite balanced correctly. But curiously enough, it was spinning up behind us. Let's just make sure all of the uh, all of the thrusters are connected. Yeah, they are. So why was it spinning back that way? That was really weird. Maybe there's too much weight attached to this driver's seat. So what we can do is we can add, oops, just a bit more weight on this side. 
try that. And this is just going to be a case of uh, testing this until we go straight upwards. Oh, so close! No! <laughs> okay, let's try one more time. Oh, a bit too much weight. A bit too much weight. No! Oh! cool though oh oh I wonder if we can just <laughs> rocket ourselves along the world oh man okay right so we're almost there we're almost there oh it's almost perfect oh I can see my house from here oh this is amazing this is so cool oh, oh no I'm underground what what the hell have I done no I broke the game Okay. All right, guys. Well, this has been a look at Scrap Mechanic. It's such a cool game. So cool. There's so many possibilities. I've barely scratched the surface. What I think I'm going to do is play around a little bit more and see if I can master the construction of a robot. But until next time, guys, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you again for some more crazy cool indie games. Take care.